What up, y'all? It's your boy, Euphoria. And this is one of a three-part video that I'm going to do. Um, and this one, I'm talking about how the metaverse is already here. We're already living in the metaverse. Uh, part two is going to be about the pros of the universe. And part three is going to be about the cons of the universe, give or take. You know, basically, since you guys always give me good feedback, great feedback on these insightful and real talk videos I do, you know, you'd be like, yeah, man, do more of that shit. You talk that real shit, son. That's how them thugs be. They'd be like, you talk that real shit, son. So, hey, I figured I'd drop another one. So here we go. Whether you realize it or not, we are already living in the metaverse. Just look around you. Barely anyone lives in actual reality. We are all glued to our electronic devices, our phones, our televisions, our laptops, and now virtual reality headsets. This quote unquote metaverse is basically a virtual physical representation of what we're already doing. You know, again, whether the metaverse has already been created and you know i actually have to give some props to uh to facebook and trust me it's a lot for me to say that i hate this company with my damn guts they lack values they have absolutely no integrity and it is the last people on earth that i will want creating such a thing but i have to give them some props the, the creative side of me that respects creativity have to give them a little props they basically took what we were already doing what we're already living in and they gave it a face a name a value a spirit they created an entity out of it they basically coined it they basically you know kind of said hey they wanted to capture the younger audience and instead of just embellishing on what is already out there they stretched their creative muscles a little bit and did something and went all in on something completely different than what's already popular, what's already out there, uh, such as Twitch, such as TikTok, such as YouTube. They basically took a hard left and went into their own direction. And a, a genuine part of me have to pay some level of respect to that. Bravo, Facebook. You did something creative. But yeah, we've already been living in the metaverse. Instagram is the metaverse. It's an electronic representation of who we already are. Um, Call of Duty is a metaverse in itself. You have an avatar, you have a character, you could customize them with whatever kind of outfit you want. You talk to people through a headset inside that world and it's just the objective is just based on on weaponry combat and things like that final fantasy online that's already been a metaverse but it's just based in the final fantasy world world of warcraft that's already been a metaverse minecraft that is literally a metaverse already just go online and look at the endless amount of things that people are doing within the minecraft universe they're doing graduations they're literally telling entire actual stories that exist inside of this world with real characters real plots real this and real that and my personal favorite is a boy would love a bts music video in the minecraft world it's actually pretty damn brilliant and it's just absolutely nothing short of amazing so we've been doing this red versus blue took the halo game and basically made a world out of it with actual using the characters as actual real life characters actual plots actual stories so this is nothing new we've been doing this and you know for anyone saying ah i don't believe in that that'll never take off um hello it's already been here facebook just basically gave it a name a face an entity a body a spirit but we've been living inside of these virtual worlds this is absolutely nothing new and i will say though again i'm not too thrilled at the idea of facebook having control over such a thing but also that's it's no need to be entirely concerned about that because i'm pretty sure there will be other companies that create their own version of the metaverse 
Apple is already working on one. I'm pretty sure Google will eventually come out with one. And who else and who else? So this is this is this is just essentially it's not entirely a bad thing. And I'll also be releasing two other videos, one talking about the pros of the metaverse, the benefits of the metaverse. And I'll also seek on another one talking about the cons of the metaverse. So if you enjoy this video, just give it a nice little like, give it a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, as I mentioned, I get a lot of good feedback whenever I give these insightful talks and insightful videos. And there will be more, there will be more. Another example off the top of my head is Nintendo Weverse. I think that was the actual name of it, Weverse. For all we know, Facebook probably ripped off the name. It's just this virtual reality center where you have your B, um, which Nintendo calls it, AKA avatar, and you interact with people inside this universe. And yeah, so this is absolutely nothing entirely new. It's just Facebook took it and they coined it. And what I could see it happening in the future is when other companies create their own metaverse per se, and there's gonna be so many different quote unquote metaverses, that's just going to be the general name that we call it. It's kind of like how when your parents will call any gaming system a quote unquote Nintendo. That's just kind of the direction this whole thing is gonna go in. There's gonna be entirely virtual reality universes out there, not just Facebook's quote unquote metaverse, um, but we're all gonna just generally call them a metaverse until that term evolves into something else. But you know, you think about it. We, we do virtual chats in many different ways these days. We do text messaging. That's essentially a metaverse. It's more like one dimensional or two dimensional of a metaverse, but that's essentially what it is. It's an electronic communication. And again, they're just taking that concept and just taking it levels and dimensions beyond what we perceive it already as today. If you look at it technically, whatever music app that you use, Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music, so on and so forth, that's a metaverse uh, within itself. It's just, it's just this entire catalog, this entire world that you exist in and you're just picking whatever type of music you want to listen to on demand at the time. You know, you're not going to the studio to listen to Drake record, I'm Too Sexy. You're not going to the studio to listen to it. You have a catalog, you have electronic uh, recollection on demand system that you can pick up and just listen to it. So again, that's essentially a metaverse. So we've been living in an electronic world all of this time. Facebook just really took that idea. I refuse to call them meta, by the way. They just really took that idea and articulated it. And I gotta give them some respect for that. Boom, and there you have it. That's a tremendous, tremendous breakdown um, and just some insightful information on telling you how we're already living in the uni in the, the metaverse, but if you realize it or not, we've already been living in a very, very, very digital world. Um, this is just taking the whole thing and evolving into a whole deeper level, which I honestly think is pretty clever, which I think has some beautiful benefits to it. And again, stay tuned for the next two parts where I'm going to talk about the pros of living in the metaverse and the cons of living in the metaverse. It's going to be good shit. It's euphoria. We out. Stay blessed. Stay love and do your best every fucking day. Let's go. Subscribe if you like it. Like it if you like it. Peace. Yeah, that's all you need.